Is the narcissist happy with their new supply? Narcissists are impulsive. They act without thinking. Without planning or consideration of the results. Which is why they can be very unpredictable. They can do things that you didn't expect them to do. They show a lack of care about risks and danger because they're heedless of the consequences of their actions. They have a compulsive desire for excitement and adventure because it makes them feel alive. It makes them feel like they exist. And it also conceals their pain and boredom. So once they've obtained new supply, they're filled with excitement and confidence. It's not real, but in that moment they actually feel like they're happy. It feels real to them. Because it's still shiny and new. They haven't learned this new person, so they feel good about it. And they will post pictures and videos on social media. They will be laughing and smiling as if you never existed. As if you never meant anything to them. As if they've forgotten about you. And this may shock and confuse you. Because they were meant to be in love with you. They told you they loved you. They told you they couldn't live without you. But narcissists are dysfunctional. Their ego is in bad condition due to misuse. To where they cannot experience emotions in the same way as normal people. And they cannot regulate their own emotions. So for the rest of their lives, they will have to depend on other people to compensate for that. They will have to use them to self-medicate. So that they can feel better about themselves and their lives. By experiencing life in their imagination for the actions of another person. They get in their feelings and experiences from someone else. Because they can't experience it on their own. But this is also why they hate people that they're dependent on. They become very bitter and resentful towards them. Because they know that they need them so that they can feel emotionally stable. They're dependent on other people. So when they obtain new supply, they may seem happy in that moment. Because it's a form of escapism. They're seeking distraction and relief from their unpleasant reality by seeking entertainment and engaging in fantasy. But really, it's like an emotional roller coaster. There's always ups and downs. One moment they're happy and the next moment they're not. But while the supply is new, it will help to suppress their misery and pain. It will distract them from their negative beliefs about themselves because now they can focus all of their time and attention on their new supply instead of having to accept that something is wrong with them. But after some time the drug begins to lose its potency. It no longer has the same effect that it once did because now they've ran them into the ground. They've drained them of everything they have. Then they will take the person for granted because it's no longer new. It's no longer effective. It's not working anymore. And when that happens, they have to replace their supply because they're going to see it as though you're not good enough for them, even though you were once able to do everything for them and they praised and complimented you. But now it's like you can't do anything right. So they have to get rid of you. They have to bring in a new person to suppress their misery and pain because people are just a form of medication to the narcissist. They use to regulate their emotions, but it never solves the core issue. It just acts as a bandage. 
and the wound never heals. And eventually, that bandage needs to be replaced. But they will never really be happy because they have a disorder and they're heavily dependent on people. They can't find any peace or happiness within themselves, which is why they always have to go into fantasies and delusions to distract themselves from their unpleasant reality. They will never truly be happy. Even when they seem to have moved on and found someone new. It's just a form of medication to them. And it's not going to cure them. It's not going to relieve them of their sickness. You have to remember everything you went through with the narcissist. Remember all of the things they did to you. And then question what type of person would want to be with someone like that. What type of person would choose to be with a narcissist. Maybe someone who is unaware. Or someone who is also a narcissist. Or maybe someone who is a codependent. They want you to believe they're in a better situation. They want you to believe they're happy now. And many of you do believe that because you don't consider what the new person is like. You don't even know who the new person is. You need to avoid getting caught up in what they're displaying to you by remembering how they treated you. Because eventually that's how they're going to treat the new person as well. They're not going to change. They're going to continue doing what they do. You're still emotionally invested in the narcissist because you're trying to figure out why they're doing this. But you're never going to fully understand it because sometimes it doesn't even make sense. Sometimes they don't even know why. They act without thinking. There's no reason for it. So there's no point worrying about why they did it. Just know that in time there will be fights and disagreements. There will be damage and destruction. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside. They want you to think they're happy and moved on. Because it's a competition, they're trying to outdo you. Because they have a black and white mentality. Where you're either right or wrong. You're either all good or all bad. Even if you try to make things right. Even if you try to be better. They're just not going to like you no matter what you do for them. Because they're not even trying to understand you. So they're not going to show any compassion or forgiveness towards you. They're going to do everything they can to punish you. And you may remember times when you were with them. Where they were always arguing with people. They always had to pick a fight. They always saw other people as the opposition. As something that they had to defeat or overcome. And eventually that's going to happen with their new supply. And then they will have to move on again. Because they're stuck in a pattern. And they can't remove themselves from it. They're condemned to repeat the same thing over and over again. They're destined to experience the same results. Which is a very miserable experience for them. Because they will never experience true fulfillment and satisfaction. They will always come back to the start again. 
and that is why they have these insatiable desires. They can never be satisfied. They were never happy with anything you did for them. It was never enough. And that's what it's going to be like for them for the rest of their lives. They're always going to experience dissatisfaction with everyone they run into. It's just a matter of time. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.